Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Really? You'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? We're just a crew. Not friends, not family. That's how it started for me, too. Give it time. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, a ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules, so... It'll be the most, uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. I need to see that bastard's face. Oh, God. He's dead. How could you? If he's dead... He got what he deserved. Norma's not gonna care why you did it. I wanted this. I, I did, but... Seeing him now? I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well, as long as you got what you wanted, right? Uh! Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Michonne, it's Pete. 
Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. Pete, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people, they... They, they have the crew. Sadiq, Oak, and Birdo. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe us anything. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Why did love put a gun in my hand? Why did love put a gun in my hand? Why did love put a gun in my hand? In my bed, in my head, in my hand Was it for redemption? She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we've done. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. The bag helps. A little. Might be enough to stall her. And then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, 
We still burned all their ship. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. In my work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! He's not going anywhere. Sam, stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> We're gonna give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> there will be time to bury him later. Right now, we need to focus on Norma. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking that... My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. <sighs> I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Everyone gets scared sometimes. I'm not afraid. <laughs> the guy who did it 
killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! What is it? <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then they don't turn. Okay? 
not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. You're all right. You look a little... 
Well, like you're losing it a little bit. I'm fine. I can tell you're not. I've been there. I thought about joining them, but it felt weird. I mean, I live here, but I'm still not family, you know? They treat me like I am. These days, families aren't the people you're born to. It's the people you stay with. The people who care about you. Pete's crew, they're a family. I guess that's true. It's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just wish Sam would go too. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Quiet out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? Just stay alert and be ready for anything. We don't know what Norma's planning. You got it. Going on. I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. Just hear her out, Michonne. Where's Pete's crew? They're not far. Don't worry. They're fine. I know you're worried. So here. See, I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Glad to have you back, Pete. It's good to see you too. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. 
All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You'll get Randall after you hand over my friends. I brought you Pete. You'll get the rest when I get my brother. Careful, Michonne. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Who cares about Randall? These people murdered Zachary! We're all homeless because of her! Kill them and be done That with is them. not what we are here for. Now be quiet! My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. You have three of my men. I only have one of yours. Send one of my friends over, and you can have Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. Show me, Randall. Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're going to insist on being difficult... Randall! <laughs> you want to try that again? Who gives a shit about Randall? Jonas, don't! If you're not going to punish them for what they've done, I will. We deserve retribution, not like this. This is for Zachary. No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. Uh, they shot her! Uh, Jonas! Fuck! Oak, run! Randall! Kill him! Get to the house! Now! Run! 
I don't know how to make it stop. Just tell me what you want. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the hell happening? are you? Go back your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Donna's. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? We need you. I did look for you. I came back. It was just too late. See you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Give us a minute. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go.
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. You're welcome. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. Are you gonna be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out of I almost didn't make it out. The place was burning to the ground and couldn't find anyone. I was just disoriented. You're not telling me everything. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. Couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I like being around you guys. It's not goodbye for us. We'll always be around. Come on. Thank you.